ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here to counter a glove. Which glove is that? Why, of course, it's the firework glove. And these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new firework glove. We have Shark, Madness, Show, Mewtwo, Foxy Boy, Kai, Kryptonol, Andrew, and Carl back there. Huge shoutouts to every single one of them. Let's get into this. What happens if you slap them after they shoot it? If you shoot this and the rocket is in midair, what happens when you get slapped? Nothing. Okay, so you can continue to shoot. Okay. So since you can't slap the user out of control of the rocket, you'd have to make them fall off of the map in order for the rocket to actually blow up. Let's find some alternatives. The rocks are going to be an alternative that is great. It's not offensive, but as soon as you watch them explode, you can get out of the rock. I wouldn't suggest diamond. I would definitely suggest using either overkill or overkill. Oh my gosh. I would suggest using custom or mega rock. Those are going to be better options for you as there's no penalty of getting out. Nothing is going to happen to you. It'll explode on the outside. Nothing. They could rocket right into you but the rockets will not do anything while you are in a rock and it's very easy to get into a rock really quick with them coming after you not so much diamond but custom and mega rock definitely are going to be gold tier counters can you evade with z's Ooh, if it's shot directly above you it doesn't hit oh you can z's is a counter that is fantastic oh <laughs> If you're on a rocket ride, don't use the Z, you're just gonna fly off. Definitely gonna put Z as a gold tier counter. What happens if you swap her with somebody that's rocket riding? Oh, you, okay, so you can swap her with them and then it destroys it. Okay, so nothing crazy. So yeah, swap her 50-50 in my opinion. Ghost will be 50-50. They can't hit what they can't see, right? Technically not true because if they guess where you're at and are correct, you're still gonna get hit by the explosion, but this will definitely make it harder for them to hit. But it also has a long cooldown, so 50-50 in my book. Thanos, Audios, and Recall are all good 50-50s. They're not just saving gloves. This will actually work if you do end up getting hit because the firework has such a long cooldown. This can actually work because these also have a long cooldown. So these will save you if you get blown up and tossed off of the edge. The magnet glove is 50-50. This is just like swapper. If you're about to be hit by a rocket, you can use this to magnet to somebody else. But if they are rocket riding, you're just gonna, <laughs> you're gonna magnet right into the rocket itself and explode. So 50-50. Can you blow them up with a pusher wall? This would be 50-50 because of cooldown, but it'd be funny to see if it actually worked. Yo, the pusher wall does destroy rockets. So that, <laughs> that can work, but it's not the best because of the cooldown. If you are golden, there's definitely nothing that's going to happen to you. All right. While you are in this mode, even if a rocket does collide with you. Oh, you can get picked up. Okay, so you're not entirely safe with golden. Ooh, fireworks a counter to golden. That's pretty sick. So firework isn't going to be a perfect counter to golden because all golden would have to do is jump. But this is one of the very few gloves that can actually affect golden while it's in its golden mode. That's pretty crazy. So golden does somewhat get countered by firework. I was hyping it up too. I was like, oh, you're perfectly safe with it. <laughs> The reduction of knockback with Cheeky should be very good. So if you're in the Cheeky mode and you do end up getting hit by a rocket, you, yeah, you're not going that far at all. Very easily controlled. Not a top counter just because the offense is kind of eh with it. What happens with replica clones? Can they be hit? Oh, they can, oh my gosh, you can rocket ride the clones. Oh, and they stay seated. Oh, so this could nullify clones once you put them on that rocket, but they don't get hit with the explosion. Okay, that's pretty interesting, but it's funny how you can make them rocket ride. <laughs> <laughs> and they're just forever stuck sitting. So replica is like 50-50, maybe even below that. Are you safe with reverse? This one will be interesting. If you see the rockets being shot at you, you can go into- Oh, you can still get picked up while you're using reverse. So you gotta be careful about that. If the rocket- Oh, yep, reverse works perfectly. So reverse isn't a solid gold option. So I think I might classify this not even 75. I might put this as 50-50 because you can still be picked up and carried away. Shukuchi is great to avoid it. If a rocket is being shot at you and you're worried, you can just oh, go into the Shukuchi form here and avoid being hit if it is shot directly at you. But I would definitely time it to where it's aiming at the ground because if they're level with the ground, they can just wait for your animation to be over. I wouldn't say this is gold. I'd just say it's like a 50 to 75% counter. Oh, you can grab them out of the air. Okay, 75. Oh my gosh. If you see a rocket coming at you, can you throw a rock ball at it? That'd be hilarious. Oh, you can. You can absolutely throw a rock. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, it's not going to be easy to land, but if they're shooting it right off the bat, you could just immediately counter it by throwing a rock at them. Uh-oh, rocket! Blow it up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, that is great. I wouldn't say that this is a top counter, but this is way up there on the funny ones. It's also really good too, because your cooldowns kind of match each other. Balloonie is going to be 50-50. Using this can make you really hard to hit, but it doesn't save you from the explosion. Wormhole can work here. I'm going to label this like 50-50, maybe 75, because if you have your portal set up, you can easily bait a rocket from hitting you. But if they're level with the ground, then this is going to be a little bit more tedious for you as you're going to have to sit there and dodge and dodge and dodge and dodge. So I like this as a 50 to 75. Track, table flip, ping pong, and slicer are all going to be deterrent gloves. These will not protect you at all. They're just going to be gloves that you can use to try to kill them before they even spawn the firework. All offense, no defense. Excavator is going to be 50-50. If you see a rocket coming after you, you could use this to go underground and stay safe from the explosion. But if the rocket is level with the ground, then they can just wait for you to get out of your animation and then you're done -zo. So 50-50. Does Thor somehow stop the rocket? You could go into the animation to avoid being hit. That does work, but I want to see if it'll destroy the rocket. No, okay, so Thor doesn't destroy the rocket. Can you rocket ride a Thor? <gasps> oh my gosh, you can. So yeah, I like Thor as like 50, maybe 75, just like the last one, just due to the fact that you can dodge it with the animation, but if they aren't baited out by that, then you're kind of donezo after they get back. What happens if you're in a cloud? Oh, you're safe. You're perfectly safe in a cloud. Let's go. That is awesome. Okay, so it can only be used on the ground. So you can't use this as like a, a moving missile launcher, but you can be safe from a firework while you are in cloud. Jebated can be good. I'm going to list this as a 75% counter, maybe a little bit more. Not a top counter though, because there's no offense while you're in your illusion form. But if you are in the illusion form and you get hit by the rocket, the most they could do is either carry you off of the edge or explode you off of the edge. And in the case of that happening, it will bring you right back to the point where you started your illusion so you won't die with this making it a good counter but there's not that much offense against them because they aren't slapping unless you're just doing a normal fight so jebated's good but not top if you guardian angel your friend and they fly off the map this will save them but this is not going to save you as a solo user what happens with god's hand all right so ooh, a rocket is still going while a time stop happens and they can start it while in time stop so god's hand is not going to be a counter here how effective is titan and can you rocket ride as a titan oh my gosh this would be insane to see okay so if you get hit you just kind of fall over now let's see about the rocket riding all right so oh my gosh you absolutely can as a titan <laughs> and you can do the stomps oh that's hilarious i don't think they have full control it might be really hard to control after that but you could rocket ride as a titan as a titan itself you really wouldn't have to worry that much about a firework user this isn't like a solid counter this is like 75 percent you can go into the phase mode and once you're in here you're really safe but after you get out of it you're not so you're really banking on them exploding Loading the rocket. All right, so we got ourselves the rocket. Yeah, perfectly safe. Bomb, bubble, jet, shard are all going to be deterrents. This is just something you could use to try to target them before they try to get the rocket off, but definitely not counters. Bob is also a deterrent, but you could also use this as a combo. If you are a firework, you can put Bob on top of this and have Bob. Oh, <laughs> Bob fell over. Is Bob nullified now? I think Bob is like permanently nullified after that. He's just stuck. So this is a way to counter Bob in a way. Oh yeah. Getting them attached is hilarious, but you could send Bob on a mission to just go over and hit random people. <laughs> that is so funny to see. <laughs> this is definitely one of my favorites right now. Jupiter is going to be the better version of Cheeky right here. If you're fighting and you do end up getting hit by this rocket, look, you're not going that far at all. You could go right back into fighting and they have a longer cooldown. So I do like Jupiter for here. I'm going to give Jupiter actually a gold just due to the fact that the only thing you'd ever have to worry about is rocket rides. And if you're just spam jumping the entire time, it'll kick you right off the rocket. Hybrid's also going to get gold because it has Jupiter in it with the yellow mode. And you also have three other modes that you could use. What happens if you're on Larry? Okay, you're perfectly safe while you are riding on top of Larry. Now I want to see, can you actually manage to rocket ride Larry? Yes, you can. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. There we go. That is a rocket riding Larry right there. <laughs> Yo! Oh, I love that. Oh! <laughs> So I like Rattlebones here. Uh, you're perfectly safe while you're on top of Rattlebones, but you're not when you're not. So I'm going to say like 90% counter, not gold, but like really far up there. Plus you have a lot of funny moments that can happen with this. Fish is a top counter here. If you get hit with a rocket, oh, <laughs> maybe we're coming back around. Here we go. Yeah, if you get hit with a rocket, just fling yourself right back in and go back to fighting. Yeah, fish is a top tier, easily gold. Can you combo with voodoo? Oh my gosh, you can pick them up. I was high key hoping that was going to happen too. Yeah, you pick them up wherever they're at. <laughs> that 
That's amazing! The explosion doesn't do anything if you explode it right next to it, but you can literally force people to be on top of it. Definitely not a counter. This is just something you can goober with with your friends. Leash can be hilarious. I don't think this is really a counter. If it is, it's probably 50-50, but the moments you can have with this are top tier. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my god, that's amazing. It is absolutely amazing that you can just sit there and swing a bunch of people. <laughs> I love this effect right here. <laughs> <laughs> so they could still use it while they are grounded. So yeah, Leash is not a counter here. Leash is just a funny one. Kinetic would be 50-50. You could use this as a one-time knockback reducer. So if you get hit, you can pop Kinetic and not go anywhere. But it's 50-50 because of cooldown. Can you use the Psycho Telekinesis jump to take basically no knockback? All right, so you have a rocket coming after you. If you just dash into... Oh, I was on it for half a second there. <laughs> All right, so we got a rocket coming after us. Oh, again, I was on top of it. I think if you're jumping by that time, it's going to put you on top of it. Yes, yes you can. Yeah, this could be a really good option for you because if you see the rocket coming inbound and you just go into that mode, the knockback that you're taking is not that much. Oh, you can grab another person that's rocket riding if you had them hit with Psycho. That was crazy, it drug their rocket over. Get back over here. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> It doesn't last for long, but great moments. Not a gold tier, but a fun tier. I'm gonna give this like 90, something like that. <laughs> Rob can be countered by this by them picking up the Rob and dragging it off of the edge. But you could also use this as a combo. Or if the explosion's gonna happen, if you're in Rob form, it will protect you against the explosion itself. All right, so we are in Rob form right now. Perfectly safe against the explosions. You can transform into Rob while you're on top of a rocket. That does work. <laughs> then you could end up eating somebody like that. It'll be a more deadly cruise missile. Yes, it can work though if you're already on the ground. <laughs> you can go into the Rojo animation because it's so long to avoid being hit, but they could also camp you if they end up not blowing up their rockets. So 50-50. Can you shoot the RPG of a retro while you are rocket riding? Absolutely. You absolutely can. So you could use that with your friends. <laughs> this is not a counter. This is just a combo. You could definitely keep yourself safe with Alchemist as soon as you get to the invincible potion. And to craft that, all you're going to need to do is grab a mushroom and a piece of elderwood, put down your cauldron, put in two mushrooms and an elderwood, click the ladle, drink yourself the invincible potion, and now you're good to go. I don't even know if you can rocket ride while you're here. Oh, you could still rocket ride. So you're not perfectly safe as you can be brought off of the map. Ooh, interesting. But as far as explosions, you're perfectly fine. Alchemist is still good because if the alchemist just continues to jump they can obviously hop off the rocket but you can catch them off guard so i'm gonna say that alchemist is not a gold tier counter but just a really 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 good one you can use santa to reach in your gift sack to avoid being hit by the explosion but you can still be picked up and you could also use this just like you would use retro with the rocket launcher you could use this for all the abilities of santa all right so we got a rocket coming after us if we go into our animation perfectly safe and if we are up in the air we can definitely sit here and throw the spoiled milk whatever it might take that's just surprise sweet people. That's a good combo. And you could always have fun trying to shoot another firework at another firework user. That does work. And that's going to do it for our counters on this list, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Shout out to everybody that you see on your screen now. Midnight, Bio, Shark, Madness, Mewtwo, Foxy, Carl, Sho, and Andrew. And some people that left like Kai. Shout out to all of them. They are all amazing. Which glove surprised you the most? I'm not going to lie to you. Golden caught me way off counter. Granted, the golden user can just jump to evade it. But watching a golden user get flung is hilarious. Which counter was your favorite? Technically, mine's not a counter, but my favorite was Leash. <laughs> I love being able to pick up so many people and just fling them around. That's hilarious. But if I was to use a counter, probably a rock. But let me know what yours is down below in the comments. I'm interested to see. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we all hope that you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we will see you in the next one. Later!